Relieving the somewhat monotonously fierce coastline of Cornwall is an occasional placid estuary, like the River Helford. A few miles west of Falmouth, and protected from the sea by looming hills on either side, this is where smugglers and pirates once hid. But in these more law-abiding days, it is the site for a no less romantic activity, oyster farming. Despite the demand for oysters, these men still use the methods of their great-grandfathers, for this is another craft where the human touch cannot properly be replaced by automation. And the successful cultivation of some eight million oysters nurtured on the riverbed depends on their skill. Manager Leonard Hodges, himself a fourth generation of oyster farmers, helps to sort out, or cull as it's called, the latest catch. Oysters like these, about two years old, are separated from the shells upon which they started life and thrown back to mature, the best table age being about five. Shells are thrown back too for future breeding purposes. In addition to extensive cultivation at Helford, young oysters are brought every year from Brittany, where they were originally sent from Cornwall during the last century, and re-sown here to replenish stocks of the local variety, from which we get between one and two million annually. These trays hold alone about 600. At the Oyster Ridge, the day's catch spends some time in shallow cleansing tanks, despite the crystal clear purity of the estuary water from which they came. For future reference, a pearl of wisdom supplied by local experts, and by the way, the only pearl you'll ever find in a British oyster. It's wrong to let an oyster slither down unchewed. It should be masticated slowly. Oysters are graded into four categories for marketing purposes. The number one, largest in size, being the most expensive, although not necessarily better in quality than the next size. Then they're packed, an art in itself. A good oysterman can count them in twenties and hold twenty a time in his hand. Try it sometime. They also have to be packed deep, shell down, so that they remain alive longer. But it's all in a day's work to these men of Helford, the gourmet's paradise.